We obviously need to be looking after ourselves during these uncertain times and times of change. Um, and this is a way in which we can help boost our resilience. We find that people who demonstrate those resilience characteristics have actually undergone or been through a lot of significant change in their lives, something that you can't necessarily conceptualise and have as a theoretical topic. It's actually something you've got to experience and go through. Um, so when we think about resilience in times of change, what we need to be thinking about is how we look after ourselves first and foremost. We often talk about putting the oxygen mask, fitting the oxygen mask first. Um, and that involves a lot of things that are fairly common sense, making sure that we've got good diet and we're not drinking too much and we're not, well, not too much alcohol, we're drinking more water, um, that we're getting a lot of exercise. But one of the things I would like to emphasize is, is sleep. And sleep, I think, has just been underemphasized for a long, long time. And the research really demonstrates that we will see a far more better capability to deal with the ups and downs in life um, and advers adversity if we, are, if we have good quality sleep. Now that means generally around seven to eight hours good sleep a night. And it's just tips and tricks around making sure we go to bed at the same time every night, not have the distractions in, in the bedroom so we're not watching TV and we're not on devices and we don't have a lot of light and distraction through the night. Um, you know, caffeine, not before, after midday really. Um, things like, um, you know, dark chocolate, anything that has caffeine in it. So there's lots of tips and tricks around making sure that we can get the best quality sleep we can. But if you were to ask what is going to give you the biggest impact in, on your ability to cope and be resilient is, is going to be around sleep. Um, the research does show that if people have had not enough sleep, even the most minor things will seem bigger than what they are. And uh, it's, it's called the who's touched my coffee cup syndrome, uh, where just those minor things can suddenly be blown out of all proportion because we haven't had enough sleep. So sleep enables us to cope better. It enables us to think more rationally. It also enables us to be more positive in what we're doing. And that's really what underpins our ability to build resilience during those times of change. <music>